Ladies and gentlemen, warm welcome to Volvo. We are at the beginning of the biggest change in public transport in decades. We believe that electricity will become the main energy source for public transport going forward. And today, we have reached a milestone in the Volvo leading the way in electromobility. For the first time, we can show you a whole portfolio on display with a hybrid, electric hybrid and full electric buses side by side. Our dream of urban mobility without emission and noise is coming alive. Our message is that you need a mix of these three tools to create the best tailored solution for every city. In our electricity partnership in Gothenburg, we have already carried one and a half million passengers on Line 55 since we started in June 2015. The result so far is really great. We have met or exceeded our goals for uptime, reliability. Passengers and drivers really like the low noise levels. The batteries and electric components have proven to be robust in real life operation and the fast charging interface using conductive charging with pantograph off the vehicle has been working 24-7 on the line and in the depot. These results prove that the technology is ready for broad introduction. And I'm really happy to see that cities around the world are now very keen to explore the opportunities of electromobility. Luxembourg has bought our first full electric buses in series production, and Paris will begin testing them next year. The next step goes beyond emission reduction and improving air quality. Our view is that electromobility will change the way we plan cities and public transport. With clean and silent vehicles, public transport will operate closer to people. It will take us inside shopping malls, inside hospitals, and inside our homes. We have just started to understand the new possibilities for public transport. Our studies show that the perceived noise level from an electric bus leaving a bus stop or driving in a typical city speed is almost half compared to a diesel bus. A key point is that the difference for the people inside the surrounding building is even greater. Indoor noise from an electric bus is about 15 decibel lower than from a diesel bus. This means that you won't even notice when it takes off outside of your window. So building on that, we have created a vision for how electric buses can enhance quality of life in the new free port in Gothenburg. Property developers in, in this new area are really keen to integrate electric buses into their plants. Fast opportunity charging has been one of the main success factors in, in electricity. Using charging opportunities at the end stops takes away any range limitations. When a city installs a charging infrastructure, it cannot accept to be locked in with just one supplier. And that goes both for the buses and for the infrastructure. Together with the number of bus manufacturers and charging infrastructure suppliers, we have therefore launched OpCharge, an open standard for opportunity charging that has the potential to become a global standard. And it's now operating in Europe, as well as in North and South America. OpCharge is a transparent and voluntary corporation, and we are happy to see that cities like Hamburg, Stockholm, and Curitiba are using this interface. Our electromobility strategy has three cornerstones. First, we have the hybrid, electric hybrid, and full electric solutions in a toolbox of three tools so we can always offer the optimal solution for the job. Secondly, our turnkey approach, which means that you drive the bus while we do the rest, including project management and infrastructure. And thirdly, we continue to push for open standard for charging interfaces. Now, another groundbreaking Volvo innovation focusing on safety and well-being of people. In this case, the bus driver. Our Volvo Dynamic Steering is the world's first that benefits the drivers in all operating conditions. 
On the road, the electric steering provides fantastic directional stability. At low speed, the bus becomes so easy to drive that you can steer it with the tip of your finger. According to a study by a European agency, 54% of women and 37% of men active in the European transport sector suffer from muscular and skeletal complaints. At Volvo, we want to do something about this. For drivers of heavy-duty buses, problems are concentrated to back, shoulder and neck. A recent study done by an external independent party has verified that Volvo Dynamic Steering can make the dr driving safer and create a more ergonomic working environment. Interviewing the drivers and measuring their muscle strain when steering show that in average it takes 20 to 30 percent less muscular activity to make a turn with dynamic steering. In some parts of the driving, muscle strain is reduced by up to 70 percent. Volvo Dynamic Steering has been a great success for us and is already chosen for half of Volvo's complete coaches. And the figures are rising. Next year, we are introducing the technology on our city and intercity buses. So, what you see here and what have you heard here is an expression of the purpose of Volvo buses. Every day, we make sure that millions of people reach their travel destination reliably, safely, and with respect for the environment. When we want to make a difference, being pioneers for sustainable public transport solution for the future. So take the opportunity to talk to the Volvo team here about the future of public transport. It is electric. Great way to ground up. Thank you, Klaus. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye.